My dear viewers, welcome to this reading for the whole collective. I hope you all enjoy it. And this is for March 2023 and so forth. And it's amazing. Your coffee cup is spectacular. There is so much going on. And I will begin with the first thing I see here. The first thing I'm seeing is that there's someone standing there face facing something quite difficult so many options and not knowing which option to take i feel like this painful difficult situation is even though it is painful and even though it is difficult but it is a necessary one that you need to go through it is part of your journey your karma and part of you um seeing better better life for yourself uh, seeing the next level um it's going to open your mind even though there is heartbreak yes um i'm not saying there isn't there is a separation there's heartbreak i can see that but even though you are deeply hurt with this matter but and feeling lost things will change and they're, they're going to transcend and move and i feel like you are going to be in the midst of grieving, you'll know that there is someone watching over you and you're not alone. Something, someone is being removed from, from you, from your life. Not because they were bad or they were um, doing the wrong thing. I feel like there was a, a need for more. Maybe they were not quite happy. Not because of you, but there was controlling matters. There were matters from the past. Things to do with their childhood. Unhappiness. Unhappiness due to something that wasn't quite comfortable um there is something there that needed to be dealt with i see that you're looking at photos and you're sad and you're you're missing this person you are going to make new memories there are new avenues new new chapters opening even though you might have been addicted to this person something wonderful about them maybe they were very nurturing maybe you were very obsessive or they were obsessive about you and and it's not easy but i feel like the blockage is going to be removed there is there was a blockage it's going to be removed and feeling um that addiction that codependency is going to be removed because of someone because you are going to need to get exactly what you need i see someone coming into your life and you're receiving what you need there's progress someone's arriving for some of you something's arriving i see a beautiful ribbon you're moving forward there's closure issues you're closing the deal the matter you're putting an end to it because of the help of someone i'm just putting my glasses for a moment and itching my eye okay now um back to where i was yes i see a beautiful bat here and i see the moon over the bat this shows to me that a lot of truth is going to be coming to light especially at a time of an ending the owl is about an ending but it's also about wisdom and it's about enlightenment you will get to know more you will learn um how to be it's sad in a way i don't like to say these things sometimes but you know it looks like the the, the teaching here is for you to learn to be alone to function alone to be less codependent to be more you know especially in your life overall life and in romantic life to be independent to be able to stand alone and be strong it's a small lesson once you overcome it and you pass it there is someone magnificent coming in your life you're destined for true love i just want to see what i'm seeing close up or it moved i was seeing something at the bottom of the cup but um i feel like you know there are friendships that are blossoming there's an intense friendship that's blossoming big time the sadness is going to be over i see you're following your heart and your instincts let your guard down open your heart i feel like this person is going to make a big difference in your life you will find your soulmate if this person isn't you will find your soulmate for sure without a doubt maybe now there's a friend that's standing um beside you um it says be adventurous open your mind there's a great change around you all the poss possibilities are endless and you'll see allow yourself to to open up and um, don't keep um, stuck in the past i feel like you are going to overcome this challenge you are going to be victorious there is victory without a doubt there is success and there is confidence your confidence needs to rise you need to be honest with yourself you need to be truthful with yourself you need to know that everything is within you you have got the power you have got the passion you have got the you've got the willpower to to make it you are very strong. You need the discipline. 
I know you need love. Many of you do need love to, to move forward. And I feel like the battle at hand is about you focusing on yourself and being able to stand and accomplish and establish yourself. But at the same time, you're not going to be left alone. That's for sure. I feel like there is someone that's going to be there for you. Maybe you are yearning for an air energy. I see air energy here very strong. Or you could be air energy yourself. Air energy being Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. I'm also seeing that there could be um, a water energy involved. Like a cancer. Let's see a crab here. This person could be air and um, water mixed i see conflict and sorrow you've been advised about this this was long coming you knew about this but you didn't want to accept it maybe somebody with an analytical mind someone that wasn't quite happy within someone who who is sort of like um who likes to lead they don't like to sort of be told where to go what to do someone that didn't like conflict this person is the one that might be leaving. There is someone, however, coming. Someone that's going always to be advising you. This person loves to tell you things, showing you directions, giving you ideas, what to go, what to do next. Slow down. Slow down with this person. You've got to tell this person maybe to slow down. You need to pause and let things unfold. Don't be angry. Don't be sad. Life's purpose is to teach us how to move forward, how to how to serve ourselves in the time of agony and anguish. Don't worry about finding your purpose. Your purpose is already there. Instead of focusing on serving your purpose or finding it, you need to serve yourself, knowing how to move forward, which direction, how to be strong and powerful. You've taken too many responsibilities. There's too much going on here. There's a lot of heavy load on you. You might need to delegate some of these information. This is not information. You're overcommitted. Some of these responsibilities. Some of you are being tested. There's no rest from the burdens. I feel like someone is going to stand by you and help you big time. Your responsibilities are over overloading you. You need to find solutions. Solutions are needed. Especially if when it comes to children or pets, I feel like there's something, or it could be work. I think these glasses are hurting my eye. Okay. Oh, I'm seeing a lot of luxury here, a lot of money. I know money isn't the most important thing now, especially that you're going through this. But I'm seeing money and I've got to talk about what I see. I see abundance. I see that within two major two i've got number two there major transformations in your money something new is happening maybe a leadership position you will be meeting someone for sure someone that possesses leadership someone who's a ruler wow they got qualities that will inspire you someone that will help you create change all around you and you will love this person you'll fall in love with this person with their qualities you know um and and you want to hang out you want to hold on to this person it's very someone very they're very emotional and yet they are honest and they are moody too at the same time. Could be water energy we're talking about. Could be a crab here, cancer, possibly. Um, I feel water energy very strong, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. And I feel like this person is outgoing in a way, but also they're very much into long-term effects. So I feel like they are, and, and they are quite emotional. So you will be connecting to that. Um, I know this is a, a collective reading for everybody. But I feel like I, I can talk about anything I see here. It looks to me like you're a beacon and you have been a beacon for others. You are wise, even though you're not recognized, but you have helped many. You have been um, very strong. I, I see one of your wishes is going to be granted very soon. There's going to be a grand change in your life, a dramatic change in your life. A strong love is coming between two people. It's growing. And I also see that you're entering a period of a lot of satisfaction, a lot of happiness. Enjoy it. There is someone emotional that needs you, that will fulfill you. Someone emotional, that means they're very, very loving, and very, very much into hugging and embracing. But there's good fortune and good luck and a grant of a wish. Reaching your destination is going to be your goal and you are. You are shining. I see you at the end. You're shining like a bright star. There's a lot of uh, money coming in. Money is coming. Could be inheritance. There could be some 
passing. I do see an owl here. Somebody could be passing. Um, you are going to be quite possessive over this money. I do feel like there could be an argument. There is a situation around you which, um, which might require change, and you are resistant to this change. So it, the resistance to change might affect your judgment. Open your mind and think of all the possibilities. You are going to be an authority. There's a contract that needs um, an agreement from you. Cautiousness is needed. Tact is needed. You need to really pay attention to accomplish your desired goal and to accomplish this matter without um, any problem. So that, that's why the caution. There could be an error. There could be a mistake. So pay attention big time. I see success and I see hard work paying off. A lot of success coming from hard work. I also see money coming. But don't do any get-rich schemes. That's no good. You need to really, um, you need to pay attention. The caution is there again about money. But there is a profitable venture. You are going hand in hand with someone or because of someone's idea. You might be putting something into action and you are going to get exactly what you want. What's belonging to you, you will get what you need you are going to get and again i will say what belongs to you is yours nobody can take it i see transformations but i see success for you success in many ways energy your energy some energy surrounding you that really cares about you make the most of this time i feel like there's abundance coming um, when I say abundance, I'm talking about a completion of a goal, dreams. I'm talking about happiness, celebrating life's passage with someone, rewards, success, and achievements. I also feel there's a period of freedom, and you are going to make the right choice. There are choices, and the beginning of choices. But at the same time, there's a lot of your wishes and your dreams being established. Someone will do an act of kindness towards you, and you will never forget that. This is what brings you happiness, caring, compassion. This is what you need. The transformations that are taking place in your life are going to bring you that person. You are surrounded with a very compassionate, very compassionate angel. They always watch over you. And, you know, it's hard to say. It's not what I'm seeing is metaphorical. It's like they have tears when they watch over you. That tells me that they watch over you with a lot of love and a lot of compassion. Not not tears, literally, but it just shows with a lot of compassion. Keep your faith. Don't lose faith. You are going to heal. Your heart will be healed. And there will be success in your relationship, in your next relationship. You need to uh, now just to take time out and look at things. Consider things. No. It says, no, you can't go back to what has uh, been demolished or has come to an end. No, and oh, wow. You need to go for something new. And and this new, it's all the go-ahead are for it. Go ahead for something new. I feel like your prayers and, and all your expectations are going to be heard and answered very soon. You've been working alone with your situation. And I feel like this person, this, this not person, this angel that's watching over you, they're watching over you to heal you at this point in time where you are learning to be alone. But they are going to uplift you to the next level. And you are going to be amazed how far you will get. Take action now and do what you need to do. There's a key that unlocks something for you. If you are stuck and you're not sure, it's going to happen. It says even if you go on a date, there's a coffee with someone sitting on a date. could be meeting someone, dating someone. It might be impossible now. It might be a little bit later on. But it's, a, it's saying to me that, yes, you should go ahead. Because while you're dating and you're not that interested and nothing seems to be working, all of a sudden you could meet the one, the one that will cherish you, the one that is destined for you. And it's going to be your romantic partner. It's going to be the person you've been seeking all your life, someone very giving and very loving. I feel like this is a person that can very easily demonstrate love rather than say love, words, expressions. I feel like this person could be born in the Chinese year of the pig, possibly. Chinese year of the cat, rabbit. Chinese year of the goat, possibly. I'm seeing um, these Chinese years here. Chinese year of the tiger. Find out what is important to those around you that you that that those you love. 
and act on it. If it's love, demonstrate love. If it's compassion, demonstrate compassion. But you know what? You're going back to what you love and you're reevaluating your desires and doing something that you always loved. Play, enjoy. The universe is saying, have fun. Even though it's hard now, because soon you will be meeting someone. You won't be alone. You'll be with someone that you can play along together. Don't worry. Your responsibilities will be completed very soon. I know you have a lot of them. It shows like there's so much. But there is an agreement. There is a deal. There is something that's happening. That's completing it all for you. There's playfulness. There's happiness. There's laughter. Something's uplifting you. This energy that's going to uplift you. This person maybe that enters your life. There's a renewal. A lot of renewals. A lot of changes. Your perspective is heightening your energy is shining so that means you are going to meet someone that is going to uplift you to high levels so the difficult situation that we started with is coming to a total and absolute ending and you are going to be in heaven watched over loved but you have to pass this challenge maybe it is about learning to go to be alone just for a while and to sort out your feelings you are going to be guided you are going to be given the key and you will be coming out victorious. There's a victory for you. I wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light in your path, a lot of healing while you're going through this. Namaste.